Hi there, welcome back. This video is really uh, about two things. First of which is a shout out to a guy called Gideon in the US who has sent me something to test. And the second part is to show you what he sent me to test. And I think it's great. Now a couple of weeks ago Gideon got in touch with me via email and sent me some pictures and links of the Venturi heads that he does for pumps. Asking if I wanted to take a look at them. And when I saw how well they worked in the videos, I said yes, because the effect is far better, or at least it looked far better, than my DIY jobbies on my pond. I'll go around, because the pump's just come on, and I'll show you my DIY one. Now if you, if you saw the multi-part videos of my big koi pond filter that I built a couple of years ago, you'll probably be familiar with what I did. It was very crude, but it did work. As you'll see. I might have to zoom in so you can see it, but that's a two inch pipe there. Uh, it's got half inch pipes going into it. So as the water is shot out through the pipe, it drags air in. And that slurping sound is what you can hear. That's the air being dragged in. And hopefully you can see that there is air going into the water, but it it's not exactly fizzing. I mean, you can see bubbles there. And that's with about 25,000 litres per hour, which is a hell of a flow of water. But there's something much better than that. Now, Gideon sent me about four or five different types, and he actually made up a double head with two of these aerating jets on, specifically for the outlet. But unfortunately, the holes that were in the heads weren't quite big enough to let the full volume of water through from that big pump. So I've repurposed that onto a smaller pump that I'm going to be setting up at the other side of the pond. I'll show you that in another video. That is an example of one of the heads. It's obviously for pond use or for aerating swimming pools, that sort of thing. Your airline goes in the top, your water's forced through here it comes out and as it's coming out it drags air in and creates a real good aeration effect. Now these are available in all sorts of sizes with all sorts of configurations of holes drilled. I mean there's that one for example which has a nation of holes and is more about the aeration than the flow although I think you'll still get a canny bit of flow coming through that. There's a lot of holes. You maybe wouldn't get the force of the flow like you will from the one I'm going to show you towards the end. But that's just another option. He seems to make loads of these things and by God they do a hell of a good job. I'll put the link to his company in the video description. So anyway, I found with the heads that were attached to the thing he sent me that the holes weren't quite big enough to let a lot of water through. So he sent me a different one and that's the one I'm going to show you now. That one has got slightly bigger holes drilled in to allow a greater force of water through. And he does these for various outputs. So there might be one for like four to 6,000 litres an hour, eight to 10,000 litres an hour, and so on and such forth. Or the equivalent in US gallons. Ooh, when we're on our way there, that's the double head that he made up. It's quite difficult to see in there, I'll just lift it up. There you go, so that's got two of those heads on, but I haven't connected that one back up yet. That one's gonna be attached to this pump which is going to feed through a big UV on the pond. Look at that. The water is absolutely fizzing. And it's turning it over really well. You probably can't see because the detritus has been attracted. But underneath here, I've got a 16,000 litre an hour Aquamax pump. Pull back and show you that that pipe does indeed go into there. It actually fits onto the top, uh, just there. So that actually goes into the head, and the pump's sitting just under here. The clear air line comes up here, and if I put my finger over the end of the air pipe, you'll see that the air is indeed being drawn in here. That's just a volcano of air. That's doing a hell of a job. That 
is a really impressive Venturi head. Just do a long range shot just so you can see how well that water is being aerated. It's doing a cracking job. Absolutely blasting away. So with a slightly bigger one there, with bigger holes drilling it, we're getting a good balance of full flow and excellent aeration. I mean that has benefited my pond. The fish are more active, they just look happier. In fact the rud are all on the top, they're all in the flow of the aerated water. Uh, yeah, everything just seems happier. And you can just imagine on the out of your gravity fed system where you've got your pump pumping back to your pond if it's pumping back in through one of these fellas your koi carp are going to absolutely love it as well you just won't need an air pump all you need is one of these fellas and I don't know the cost of them so I'm not going to say they're you know, affordable for everybody but I wouldn't have thought they'll be too expensive I should have really checked that out shouldn't I before I made this video but as I said I'll put the link to Gideon's company in the video description now there's also various versions of these heads available for aquariums as well and they go on the outlet side of your canister filter. So instead of it coming just straight in through your shepherd's crook and then going to either like a duck bill thing or a spray bar, it would go to one of these heads and I'll show you those in another video as well. Again, that's the sort of thing that's really quiet and it saves you having a separate air pump. And in the next video I'll show you this big fella as well with all the smaller holes attached to that same pump. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section. I tend not to check the comment section after the first couple of days of uploads because I've got so many videos on there, I can't keep monitoring them. But, uh, you know, if you've used one of these things, share your experiences in the comment section. That's what it's for. Thanks for watching. See you next time.